The next major printer block campaign, Battle Mechas, is coming to Kickstarter. But you don't have to wait for the Kickstarter to start making cool mechas today because I have released some files that you can print out today and start playing with, as well as partnering with Thangs and Acidy to bring some prizes to people who make the coolest ones. And Editing Room Joe jumping in here to add Sliceworks to the companies that I am partnering with. Sliceworks is going to be offering a King Rune KP3S 3D printer, a printer that I've reviewed in the past and was very impressed with for the first prize winner. So this was a great second 3D printer. It's a great printer for printing printer blocks on, or it's a great printer to give to somebody else to get them started with 3D printing. So add that to the pile of cool stuff that you can get. And how can you win? Let's go back to pre-recorded Joe. Hey everybody, it's Joe the 3D Printing Professor. And if you're new to 3D printing or just want something new to do with 3D printing, you're in the right place. I hope that you'll stick around and maybe even join me on my Discord where I have an awesome, easy to remember URL, discord.3dpprofessor.com. And you can hang out with cool people who are doing cool things and helping each other make things even cooler. I hope to see you there. I've been working for a little while on a new print -a block campaign, Battle Mechas, humanoid robots that take advantage of the new ball joint that I created and also have these cool little pilots inside of them that are doing the driving. I think that's a fun addition to print -a block I am bringing these to Kickstarter where I will be making a whole bunch of these robotic mechas based on your favorite source of inspiration for giant robot battles, right? But before the Kickstarter, you can get in on the action because I've released on Thangs and elsewhere the print -a block battle frame. Now, you look at this guy and you think, well, he's not really that fancy. I mean, he's got the little pilot inside, so that's good, but there's not a whole lot going on with him, and that's kind of the point. See, I've been working on print -a blocks for years now, and during that time, the number of print -a blocks that are available, even the free ones, is just a massive amount. And I realized this year that Nobody knows what printer blocks are out there as well as I do, and I wanted to make it easier for people to be able to find them. So I started a couple of initiatives. The first thing I've been doing is releasing printer blocks uh, just about everywhere that you might download your 3D print files. This includes Thingiverse, Thangs, Printables, My Mini Factory, Cult, Toy Box, Creality Cloud, just everywhere now has printer blocks on it but I've also been grouping them in smaller sets. So instead of just saying, here's all the printer blocks, sort them out and figure it out, you can download them in listings that kind of make sense and will give you an idea of what's available out there. There's your base blocks. There's your big ones. There's the panels that are flat and thin and work great for, for building structures in things. There's the prettifier blocks that are great for filling in angles and look really good in different ways. There's the short blocks. There's the articulated blocks. And all of these smaller listings are kind of designed to give you an opportunity to be oriented a little bit in what's available in print -a block Of course, if you just want the big collection, the big pile of print -a blocks you can still get that on 3dpprofessor.com as well. So now that you know what printer blocks are available, how do you use them to win cool stuff? Well, it's super easy. Go to Thangs, download the Battle Mecha frame, print it out, put it together, and then if you want, you can accessorize it. Make it look however you want. Use the other printer blocks, slap it on here, and make the coolest Battle Mecha you can. Or just upload this one. Take a picture of it, Upload it to Thangs in the community pictures, and there you go. You're entered in. That's all you have to do. In about a month, exact date in the doobly-doo, I will pick out a first, second, and third place winner using an advanced algorithm that from the outside may or may not just look like pulling names from a hat. Yeah, Joe, but what are the prizes? Well, so glad I asked. So if you come in third place, ACD will be supplying a roll of filament and Thangs will be providing a $50 gift certificate to either Matter Hackers or uh, 3D Jake, depending on where you are in the world. 
If you come in second place, it will be a roll of filament and a $75 gift certificate. And if you come in first place, you'll get that spool of filament, a $100 gift certificate. And if you are in the U.S. or Puerto Rico, Sliceworks will be throwing in a KP3S 3D printer. Now, if the first place winner doesn't happen to be in those regions, it'll just slide down until we find somebody who we can give that to. So hopefully everybody will be happy. There will be great prizes all around and it'll be something to incentivize you to fire up your 3D printer and make yourself a battle mecha. Ha. Now to demonstrate what is possible using only the free blocks, I didn't even dip into the premium sets like mechs and Skyforce. This is just using the blocks that you can download for free right now. I created a couple of examples. This one right here with the red, yellow, and blue, I'm calling him Optimus Primary Colors. <laughs> I really kind of dig the way his feet in particular turned out, but he's still got cool weapons on the arms. He's just, I don't know, I kind of dig him. I think he's a cool looking build. Then there's this guy over here that I am calling Chonky Boy. And with him, I got a little bit more creative. First of all, I reworked the frame to make the knees so that they sweep backwards. And then I used a prettifier blocks and really built up his shoulders and put a big old backpack on his back and had it actually come up around the head to give him just an overall turtle round like appearance. And I think he turned out fantastic as well. So go download the Battle Mecha frame, print it out, and you might win some filament and a gift certificate from my friends at Fangs and Acity. And remember to sign up for the Battle Mecha's Kickstarter, because the mechs that come out of that are going to be even cooler. But until then, I want to thank you very much for watching and remind you once again that you are a child of God, so you're special to me. So take care of yourself, and if you can, someone else too. Thanks very much for watching.